Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up GrooveCart payments so that you can start accepting orders and starting to make some money with your store. But first, before we do anything, we have to log into GrooveCart. So once we're in the GrooveCart dashboard, we're going to go up to this menu right here that kind of looks like an upside down T and we're going to go to the gear icon and click on that. And up at the top right here, we have a bunch of different tabs, but to get started, we have to go to Payment Methods. And here you're going to have a few different options on what kind of ways you want to accept payments. So GrooveCart has GroovePay. You've also got PayPal, Stripe, Authorize.net, and Uviba. So one thing I noticed when I was trying to set this up initially, uh, so I could show you how to do it, not everything is compatible together, like for instance, I had GrooveCart, GroovePay uh, deactivated, and because I had Stripe activated, I wasn't allowed to use GrooveCart. It made me deactivate it first, so that's just something to consider before you're trying to go all in on all of these. Uh, some of them might not be compatible together. So. so that's something to think about before we get started. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to set up GroovePay, and we will start working our way through some of these in different videos. But all you have to do is go to activate right here. And just like that, GroovePay is active. Now this is going to be a 2.85 plus 25 cents per transaction plus a $40 a month subscription. So that's again something to think about when you're setting up all of these payment methods, which ones you want based off of the fees and subscription payments. But Again, this is just GroovePay in this video. So now that it's activated, we have to connect to GroovePay. And so to connect to GroovePay, you actually have to set up an account and apply. So we'll go through these steps right now. And I'll fill these out so I'm not taking up all of your time. And so again, once you go on to the next screen, you just have to enter even more information about yourself. And again, I'm not gonna waste your time by making you watch this. I'll see you in the next step. So the next step after you enter all of your owner info is setting up your routing number and account number so that when your payments go through, they will send to your account number over being held in PayPal, for instance. This is just gonna send right to your uh, bank account. So after you enter this information, you're gonna be taken to a sign screen where you do an e-signature and they will basically look through your account, help you apply, and they will either accept you or reject you. It would be based on different criteria why they would accept or reject you, but if you're using Dropified, you probably know your way around a business, and so you shouldn't really have a problem with that. Once your application is accepted, you're going to be signed up for the $40 a month subscription slash all of the fees that come along with each of the transactions, and you're going to be set up with a what is called a Nuve ID, which essentially lets you link your store to your GroovePay account, so that way everything is synced up and everything goes to where it needs to go once orders start coming in and money starts being moved around. So once you get that Nuve ID, what you need to do is you need to go back to your payment methods and go into settings. And once you open up the settings menu, you get the switch to either go on or off, so if you click it to green, it's on. If you click it to red, it's off and you're in test mode. And test mode just lets you test different transactions to make sure everything is running smoothly. But here you'll see your terminal ID and your shared secret. So basically what these are, when you get your Nuve ID, it's gonna be listed up here. You're gonna get a PDF file with all of your information. You need to copy and paste your terminal ID and shared secret into here. And so there's gonna be two different terminal IDs that you'll end up getting. So if you read this, uh, the terminal ID from your PDF file that you get is not the one you need. There's a terminal ID at the top left corner of your Nuve dashboard, and that's the one you're going to want to insert right here. So that's something you need to look out for when you're trying to set this up. There's two different ones and you want to make sure that you're choosing the right one or else it's not going to work. And then when you're done, of course, just press save. And that's how you set up GroovePay within your GrooveCart store. It's pretty simple. It's just a waiting game on how long it takes to accept your application, but hopefully it won't take too long and you'll be ready to make orders and place orders and 
receive orders in no time. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like on it. If you have any questions or comments or just want to request a video about what we can do to help you, be sure to leave those all in the comments down below. And if you never want to miss a video because they're just so helpful, make sure you press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it to make sure you never miss one of our uploads. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.